How's it going everyone? Well today we're going to be comparing two of the most common ways people carry their EDC. We're going to be comparing the two ways. The first one, most common, one I recommend, but is to carry one chambered or cocked and locked. Uh, the second one is to carry one magazine in the gun, but not chambered. The Israeli method, you'd have to draw, rack, and shoot. Uh, I have nothing against that. I actually used to carry like that. A lot of people do until they get more comfortable and more experienced. And even the, even a lot of experienced people I know carry that way. They have their reasons. You know, I'm not going to go into the. We know we can compare the two, but what I'm going to do today is just compare the actual two with the shooting and speed. So we're going to see accuracy and speed comparing the two ways. See which way is better. Could probably tell you which way, but you never know. Let's see what we can do. Seven yards, first method, chambered, stand by. Okay, that's a point nine zero. Okay, sub second, got a hit. There's our first one that was chambered. Let's see what we do. Not chambered. Loaded mag. Not chambered. We're going to have to draw, rack, and shoot here. The Israeli method, number two. Stand by. Seven yards. Stand by. One point one one. One one one. A little bit slower. On target. A little to the right. We're on target. Okay. Let's see if I can get it any quicker with the number two, the Israeli method. Draw back and shoot. See if we can get on target. Try it one more time. Stand by. Quicker. Barely. Wait. 1.02 instead of 1.1. So, at the same area. I guess when I'm doing it really quick, I'm hitting low and to the right. Okay, what's the conclusion here? Well, I can pretty much always get a sub-second draw, concealed or not, when it's chambered and on target, sub-second. But, you know, with the Israeli method, the draw, rack, and shoot, uh, the first one was 1.11, second was 1.02. If I could did a little more, a little more training, I could probably get that sub-second, but the thing is, you're, you have an extra, extra movement under stress you might fail about that failure to feed you know you might not have that arm it might be you know injured or you know under duress or something you, you might not have that capability of draw racking so uh, you know the wind goes to being chambered but if you don't carry it chambered you just carry it with the mag in and not you know nothing wrong with it but just get training do it every day train that movement so that's second nature but you know, if, you, if it's because you're uncomfortable with it, we'll just get more training. I would carry it chambered. You know, always carry one in the pipe if you can. But if you're uncomfortable, just get training, guys. We'll see you. But if you don't want to get training or don't like aiming, get a shotgun. Seems to work all right. <laughs> 